for that spot into the finals of the champions chest star and its handshakes. It's go time. The big question, what is Magnus's approach? He starts with the King's Pawn opening. We haven't seen, seen him employ one E4 so often during this finals. Yeah, Magnus has been mixing it up, freestyling a bit, but I can remember so many clashes between these two in uh, E4, E5. It's the main line of the Spanish, the Roy Lopez opening here. And Fabiano, he's backing up his chessable course, Robert. He did so much research. He put so much heart and soul into that chess, of course. And no, this is not an advertisement. It's just knowing Fabiano, he trusts this opening weapon. And he's playing it against Magnus Carlsen. So much talk I mean, the opening stage when they played in the World Championship match was about uh, the Sicilian defense, the Rossellimo. But from the black side, Fabiano, he trusts this as a big weapon. And Magnus seems surprised. And this early Bishop C5, this development, it's the Archangels. You pointed it out. It is the big course by... Uh, Fabi unchessable and I was at the St. Louis rapid and blitz calling the action and Fabi had so many opportunities to play this but he didn't and we asked him why are you not playing your course
does the unbelievable. He wins down a queen. Wow, miracles do happen. That was crazy stuff, and we will break it down in more detail later. Magnus Carlsen, on the brink of defeat, turns it around and wins. Unbelievable turnaround. Fabiano completely outplayed Magnus Carlsen, but by Fabi's own words, Magnus is so resilient that you may get a winning position, but actually securing the full point...